You know what a smile? That's what he wanted to tell There's a thing that I've heard though with guys, like they don't like to like smile or something. It's like serious face is the way to go. Smile. 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 Hi, my name's Lori Riffis from Orlando, Florida, and I'm the coach of the Billie Jean King Cup Juniors girls team. My expectations for our team this year is to compete as a team, to support each other as well as uh, our male counterparts, and to play the best tennis that they can play. They've, they've worked very hard to be here, and I'm uh, super proud of them and super excited to see them compete. My team consists of three players. Uh, Claire Bay Nagunawe is originally from Washington, D.C. She's 16 years old and is exciting to watch as well as a very colorful personality. We have Valerie Glesman from Seattle, Washington. She's a very unique player with crafty uh, skills and uh, is really looking forward to competing. We also have Eva Jovich who is from Los Angeles, California, and she's the youngest on our team. She is a, a super solid player, and she can't wait to compete. My name is John Glover. I'm from the United States, and I'm the coach for the U.S. Davis Cup Junior Finals team. It's a huge honor when you get a chance to put the flag on your shirt, represent your country, so these boys know that they're in a special position to be able to make this trip and, and represent uh, all the other players and uh, the USTA and everyone that didn't get a chance to be here. My boys are um, at the uh, number one position, Alexandra Rezeghi from Humble, Texas. And then I have Kaylin and Mika Bagoon, uh, two twins who currently reside in Bradenton, Florida, but are originally from Los Angeles. My expectations are for my boys to give 100% effort, have great attitudes, be great sports, have fun, and you know just really play the best that we can play and we'll let the ships fall where they may. <laughs> As soon as we step on the court right now, the match has started. 100% focus, let's be completely dialed in. Every shot you hit should have a purpose, okay? Should make sense within your game plan as you're playing the match, okay? Let's go through our warm up 100% like we have the last couple of days, then we'll do a little bit of individual work, okay? We have 45 minutes. Okay, okay, let's go, get to moving. Sometimes the ball's coming deep here and you're taking the ball on the rise at the wrong height. Okay, you're doing a good job of taking ground and taking time. But when, when he forces you back, give yourself a little bit of ground, okay? Because you caught that one late that you took early like that, okay? Here we go. Right, I'm gonna see you really attack the ball with your feet, KK. It looks a little bit like you're warming up as if you know you're not playing. Okay, I want you to, like, what happens if he tripped and sprained his ankle right yeah, now? Right, right. You'd be in. Yep. Okay, so warm up as if you're the first guy out. Girls, let's move her around a little bit, but not, um, not too close to the sideline. Okay, just try and keep your ball a little bit more out of the center. Good. The girls. I feel like they're my sisters now, Eva and Valerie. Um, it's my first time traveling with both of them, but I feel like we've known each other for a really long time. I can't wait to compete with them. I mean, already like our practices has just been amazing and I'm really confident in ourselves. Yeah, exciting. So you have an opportunity to just play heavy inside of him with the forehand, so much. redirect with the backhand and you feel he's cheating because he's gonna need to. And you take some forehands line, but not the forehand line when you're outside the quarter in the doubles alley. You yeah. play disciplined tennis like this, this guy's gonna have to take too many chances. I know. You can't play it neutral with you, yeah. okay? I know you're going to respect your opponent and the chair umpire, um, but you're going to lay it all out there, right? And that's why we traveled over here, to, to, to give us your best. This is the fun part, okay? Everything else was work, but you get a chance to compete with the flag of your country on your shirt. You're not going to have too many opportunities like this in your life, okay? So let's have fun, let's support each other, let's make the most of it. All right? All right. Let's go. Good. Clear me. 
blood pressure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do we sway or do we just stay in the middle? We sway. We sway. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Where are we going? There we go. There we go. Definitely an emotional roller coaster for sure. You know, played an opponent that you know had a really good day today, and you know today just you know wasn't my day on the singles end. You know, no feeling sorry, no you know no getting down because at the end of the day, you know, we got to fight for the country and we got to fight for you know our teammates. So it was good that you know we got the first one under the belt. Tight doubles match, but felt like uh, we played well and we pulled it out at the end. It was a great first day. You know, we set the goal to compete hard and to figure out what each player needs to do in order to uh, put together a good match, and I was really proud of the girls. I think it was definitely a good first match. You know, I was a little nervous before, but I had a pretty good start, and the nerves faded away, and I played pretty well throughout. So, you know, I'm happy with how it went, and hopefully we can keep that going. Dude, Alex is like, I like it fresh out of like eat it up for like shot. Alex, I'm so dirty. Never mind, Sierra, keep it the way it is. Oh, Alex! See, they're tired of me winning, so these are the cards that I get. Nobody wants me to win, so this is what I get. Can't do much with this. Thank you, good boy. <laughs> I was at three though. Keep it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, wait, yes. Keep it blue. Keep it John, blue. John, John. My only words blue. are. Uno, uno. Uno. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's so good. Kalen has to watch The Office while he eats his honey pancakes. Now, we can't disturb him because he's got to get the comedic stylings of Steve Carell and the others. Okay, let's let him get to his happy place. Hi, I'm Sierra Frame. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm a strength and conditioning coach for Team USA. My role here is really supporting our players and making sure that they have everything that they need warm up and cool down wise and enough to, for them to compete at the highest level here. I think there's a lot more that goes into this than just strength and conditioning and uh, definitely like a team mom almost out here playing a role of uh, just taking care of their well-being uh, on and off the court. Well, right now, you know, getting warm and uh, just focusing on the match, um, just things how I want to play and uh, how I want to act out there. So my teammates um, kind of scout the opponents, and then um, we kind of uh, they kind of come up with a plan, and they let me know what it is, and uh, I go out there and I try to execute it. First match my brother played, it was tough. The guy played really well, um, and unfortunately he lost that one, but still a great match. You know, Alex came in and just took care of business, really powered through that uh, second match and gave us a lot of confidence going into doubles. And, you know, second set, we really just elevated our game and were able to just play our best doubles out there. This doesn't look good for the cameras to see my flexibility. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I started tennis when I was three and I was motivated from my sister and my dad and it kind of just became like 
an immediate dream for me just to, you know, represent my country and it's such an honor. It's so important to me. It's like one of my biggest motivations. It's so exciting. It's all emotions in one and um, I'm really happy to be here. Kaelin and Alex were playing doubles. Kaelin had to retire. You know, he was feeling a little bit dizzy, especially as he was coming down and going up for a serve. So he's getting an IV now, and uh, hopefully he'll be uh, available for tomorrow. We'll be the number two seed in our group. Uh, lost to Japan 3-0 uh, today. Uh, hats off to those guys. They played very well on both matches. But luckily, we are still advancing to the quarterfinals. We look at it as a learning opportunity, and there's some things that we did better, and there's a lot of things to learn from. And um, hopefully that'll help us going forward. Please, everybody, give them motivation applause all together. Try to recover um, last night, you know, drinking a lot of water and stuff like that. And um, my goal this morning was just to go out there and, you know, have a good start, follow the game plan. And I was happy that I was able to do it. The other team put up a good fight, but I was glad we were able to close it out at the end. It feels great to be a semifinalist, but I know the job's not done yet. So, you know, we still got a lot of work ahead of us and uh, hopefully we'll push through. Alex. Definitely uh, Kaylin. Kaylin. Alex. Kaylin. It's gotta be Kaylin. Clarvy. Nika. Kaylin. Me. 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 Kaylin. Clarvy. <laughs> Maybe me. Myself. Clarvy. Me. <laughs> Mika. Definitely Alex. I'm gonna say Eva. Yeah. Kaylin. <laughs> Alex. Probably Alex. <laughs> uh, Mika? Maybe. It's gotta be Alex for sure. Alex. Kaylin and Mika. All three of the guys. <laughs> Me. Probably. All the boys are. <laughs> See, Alex was the messiest. That was a good joke because he's probably the cleanest. <laughs> Alex is like OCD clean.
am unbelievably proud of my team today. The way they fought for one another, the way they laid it all on the line, and Kalen lost a tough match. I was really down about it, but he, he cheered the other guys on the rest of the way, and then the way Alex came back after a singles match you know, and, and fighting hard in doubles, and Mika, you know, hadn't hit in hours and sitting and watching all day and is able to bring that kind of effort is uh, really amazing. I'm proud of the guys. I was really nervous to lead the team huddle today. I'm not super loud in general, so um, it was definitely out of my comfort zone a little bit, but I had a lot of fun doing it and kind of helped me um, get the chance going like later on in the day. <laughs> it's been so much fun hanging with the girls. Um, they're both really awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better team. They're super funny and nice, and we've been having dance parties and singing battles in the room, and we went out for karaoke night and went to the beach, went on walks together, and kind of hung out all the time. We're always together, so they're awesome. It's really exciting for Team USA to represent this event in both the boys and the girls finals. I think we're as prepared as we can be to face Czech Republic today. They're going to be a formidable opponent. We know they are defending champions. We feel that the girls, their bodies are in a good position to just give it their all. That's, that's all we're asking is that they just give it their all and as they look back and you know in the years to come that this was not only a good experience but, but they competed to the best of their ability. Girls, before we uh, separate and uh, go enjoy the rest of the day, I just again want to congratulate you for the, the great week of training, great teamwork that everyone provided. You've all proven that you have enough to build your career off this and, and take it to even bigger stages. Even though we didn't get the W today, throughout the week we gave 100% effort. We had great attitudes. We got better on the court. We represented the USTA the right way and we represented the country the right way. So. I'm really proud of you and I want to let you know this is one of the most fun experiences I've had for a team event. So you guys did great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi you guys, congratulations. Congratulations girls. From one Billie Jean Cup team to another and I just want you to know that Taylor Townsend here was on my junior. <laughs> Billie Jean King Cup team. And really? We, uh, yes, yes. And we won the title as well. So ages ago. Yeah. So we, back when the dinosaurs walked the earth. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Way to go. Way to bring the title home.